Hi, my name is Kareen Martin. I'm an energy medicine woman. I'm from the Potawatomi Nation on my father's side. And today I want to talk to you about shame, shame and guilt. I want to ask that you set your intention at this moment as you put your finger in your belly button, either above your clothes or under your clothing. I want you to hold that finger in that belly button as we work on shame and guilt. A lot of the shame and guilt we have has nothing to do with us. It comes from either downloads from our ancestors or experiences in this lifetime. And most of the time, the shame that a lot of you hold on to was something you didn't do. It was something that may have happened to you, something you may have experienced, and then you hold all this guilt and shame. But what I want you to do is take a deep breath in right now, take it way down to that umbilicus, and hold it, and hold it, and hold it. And with a long, slow exhale, let's, let's set our intention that we get rid of all this shame. I don't want you to hold on to shame anymore. It's taking away from your vitality, it's taking away from your livelihood, and it's keeping you from being happy and productive and amazing. So take another breath in. Let's breathe in a lot of love, and we're gonna hold it. Oh, and exhale forgiveness. Forgiveness to yourself and to anyone who may have harmed you or hurt you. I have my little print here. This is you. This is your biological dad and your biological mother. This is only five lifetimes of generations. You're not the only one who feels shamed or shameful or guilty. Most of the time, we inherit it from our ancestors. So as we set the intention, no matter what your relationship is with your biological mother and father, we're gonna take a breath in and that breath in is gonna pull in a lot of love and forgiveness. We're gonna hold it and we're gonna say on a soul level, anything I'm aware of, unaware of, let's release it now. Take a nice, long, slow exhale, letting it all go. Go ahead and keep breathing as I talk. You may have no idea, maybe they're patterns, maybe they're behaviors. Maybe they're judgments that was brought upon you by family members, friends, co-workers, but stop thinking about it. Stop living it. Stop talking about it in your mind. So you take that breath in, give yourself time to let go and to forgive. The more energy we put to it, the more we keep pulling it into our living space. And then we justify, you see, they're mean to me. This happened to me. And it's like, I used to do that. So don't think that I... I'm telling you something I have not experienced, but I've got to help you get away from this shame, this guilt, and this blame. We can no longer blame other people for harming us and hurting us because somewhere within we're so broken and hurt. So let's take that beautiful breath in and hold. And let's forgive ourselves for feeling weak, abandoned, abused. Go ahead and release it and let it go. I'm gonna ask on a soul level that your heart and soul wake up that your conscious and subconscious wake up and bring clarity at this moment. Let's clear out any thoughts, feelings, and emotions that keep you trapped, stuck, victimized, hurt, full of sadness and grief and shame. Let's take that big breath in. We're gonna hold and we're gonna hold and we're gonna hold. Release it and let it go and trust that if you can't let it go, snap those fingers and give it permission to awaken, release, and remove. Good. So then we have beliefs um, that maybe you're flawed, keeping that finger in your belly button and clear the belief that when you were in the womb, days, weeks, months, and years into your lifetime that there was something wrong with you. Maybe someone consciously said it, subconsciously said it, and you hold on to that fact, it's not true. Let's clear the belief as you take a breath in. Remove all beliefs that you're flawed, you're damaged, hold. Give a good, beautiful release. Let's go in and forgive ourselves as you have that finger in your belly button. The energy that you genetically encoded from your biological mother and father, that you're inadequate. Let's clear it. It may have came from their mothers and fathers. Let's clear it one, ten, hundreds, thousands of lifetimes. As you exhale out and take more breaths in, I wanna clear the belief that you're inadequate. Whether you're in a job and someone says, you're inadequate, you're unworthy. Take that breath in of love and forgive.
forgiveness to that soul who said it. Take that breath in for you and believe that you are wonderful. You are amazing. You just have some patterns running that keep you stuck and trapped. So let's take another breath in. Letting go of the belief that we're inadequate. Let's clear also as we have our finger in our umbilicus that there's something wrong with us, that we're a bad person. Let's stop those lies, those patterns, those beliefs. Take a deep breath into that root chakra way down below the umbilicus, clearing as you breathe out, letting go all beliefs, words, emotions, feelings that say you're wrong, you're bad, you're damaged. Take another breath in. As you breathe in love, you hold it in there. As you exhale, I want you to forgive people who've harmed you, who've hurt you, who've belittled you. Go ahead and take another breath. Take another beautiful breath in. And if you're feeling tearful, you're crying, just work through it and, and forgive yourself and forgive those who you've harmed and those who have harmed you. Good. Let's go in and take another breath, feeling as though we're unimportant. What we have to say is unimportant. Maybe we don't have an education and we don't feel as important as someone else. You know what, when we clear some of these blocks, you can shift your life and you can make your life whatever you want it to be. Let's go in and clear our ancestors, ourself, of feeling unimportant, being told we're unimportant, living a life where we don't feel important. Take that breath in, fill it with divine love, divine joy, divine happiness. And give a good, soft release, a good, slow, soft release. Take another breath in. If you can get that breath way down to your toes, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale, letting everything go. All beliefs, perceptions, and judgments that have created disharmony in your space. A lot of shame, a lot of guilt, a lot of unhappy and sadness. I'm going to just say, let it go. Let's clear all beliefs that you're undeserving. Let's go ahead and clear them from your mother, father, your grandfather, your grandmother. Let's clear one, ten, hundreds, thousands of lifetimes. We bring in stuff, and sometimes we download it to people unknowingly. They don't do it on the purpose. So please, never point the finger, never blame, never shame. I did that in my lifetime, and I realized some pretty good lessons. So if I can stop you from doing that now, even though in your mind you may say, but they did this, it's true, it did happen. But now you've got to shift that energy and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Figure out what you can learn from this and make sure you never harm anybody in that manner. But also you have to become extremely smart and intelligent so you don't fall prey to these programs of manipulation and deceit and deception. Take a breath in of love, hold it, and let it go. We're going to clear all shame and all guilt, all layers, levels, and lifetimes. We want it to be identified, released, and cleared. If we have programs that keep rebuilding in our cellular memory, let's ask it stop. If our cells keep reproducing these shameful moments, these shameful feelings, these feelings of guilt, unworthy, let's take a breath and ask now as you take that breath in of love and forgiveness and you release, let it go. Let go, let go. Good. Maybe some of us feel we're not good enough. Well, sometimes this earth plane or life can be pretty challenging. Whether it, we inherited these programs, belief systems, patterns from our mothers and fathers, our grandmas and grandfathers, lifetime after lifetime, or because we've struggled so much, we attract a lot of people who, who aren't very kind to us and it just keeps reiterating that we're not important. I wanna tell you right now as you breathe in, you hold and you let go, you're extremely important. Your soul just forgot how important you were. So you are the master of your life. You have to shift your energy. You have to pull back control. I'm gonna give you permission right now to take back control of your life. Take a breath in. Take a breath in of happiness and joy, and exhale fear. Keep breathing, keep 
taking in love, value, appreciation, removing any fear, any worry, any stress. Let's go ahead and ask that these harmful messages and programs that we kept reprogramming, kept reliving, kept supporting are now cleared. It is safe to be free of shame and guilt. It is safe to be in an amazing soul. It is safe to be happy. It is safe to be supported in life. Take a breath in. I'm gonna ask that your healing committees, your spiritual committees, your high self committees, go in and just reprogram and shift and shape everything that no longer serves for your highest good, for your purpose in this lifetime, for your passion. Please awaken and give yourself permission to remember why you are here. You are a delicate and beautiful soul. Those are amazing souls. Those are souls that come here not only to heal yourself and awaken, but to remember why you are here and what your purpose and path is. So trust, you do have a purpose and path. This is what I'm gonna tell you. Anytime you get worried, you get um, uh, stressed, I want you to put your hands on your heart and your lungs. Anytime you feel shameful or guilty, I want you to take a breath in. I want you to hold and I want you to exhale. I want you to do that till you start feeling all this trapped energy in your heart and in your lungs is removed. You have permission to heal you have permission to be whole, and you have permission to be amazing. Let's take a few more breaths. Shifting the pain, shifting the sadness, shifting the shame. Thank you. And remember to always give gratitude to our angels, our guide, source, mother grandmother energy grandfather energy always pull in the light and always accept healing